Hey there Cosmic Warriors and welcome back to another video. Okay, so in today's video we are going to be taking a look at the five ways that a cancer can become famous whilst looking at some real life examples. Now I would like to highlight that this video is really focusing on the sun sign, so the sun and cancer people today. Um, because the thing about the sun is that your sun sign can provide an indication into the ways in which you are seen. So how you illuminate, how you shine, how you express yourself. It's really the sun sign as well that can show you how you gain applause, attention and approval for what you have to offer. But ultimately the sun sign can provide an indication into your purpose and your direction in life. However, before we do get started, if you would like to know more information all about your sun sign, along with your sun house, as well as your Leo house within the natal birth chart, and the fifth house as well, respectfully, then I have created a Leo season slash archetype ebook. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna provide a link to that ebook in the description box below so that you can pick up your coffee today. All right then, so with all those introductions out of the way, Cancer, let's do this. Okay, so the first way that a cancer can become famous is by causing a reaction from the audience. See, the thing to keep in mind about cancer energy is that it is highly reactive and in this way cancerians can be quite sensitive and emotional. You say one bad thing to a cancer that they do not agree with or if it doesn't really sit well with them, well, they might just retreat or they might take a step back a little bit, they might avoid you or they might just go for you. Yes, because there is no knowing how a cancer is going to react depending on the situation and the scenario. So with this being said, a cancer might actually become famous for sparking some cardinal water reactions from others. So let's actually take a look at some famous cancers to get an understanding as to what I mean and how this might play out. Take famous YouTuber and cancerian Shane Dawson. Now he of course, he gained a lot of fame through his YouTube videos. He created parody videos at the very beginning and these videos they were pretty funny, they got laughter, that emotion, the <laughs> hitting the funny bone from the audience and also these were videos that I remember growing up with and watching them and laughing at. So we've got the likes of videos titled My Night with a Porn Star, Not a Virgin Anymore, Prank, Sex Toys to Mom. And you do notice with Shane Dawson that he has a few videos with his mom in them. And really just to have family members or loved ones in the videos overall is quite cancerian. So back then, Shane Dawson was quite childlike and quite emo in a less mature way. But today, however, he has matured substantially as his audience grew older well, he grew right along with them. So now he creates videos that are more focused on conspiracy theories, short films and collaboration videos. Again though, sparking the emotions and causing reactions from his audience because now we notice titles such as The Dark Side of Jake Paul and The Truth About Tana Mongjo. Mongjo? Am I saying it right? But not only can Cancerians gain fame from causing reactions from others, well, they can also gain fame from creating content about themselves reacting as well. 
keeping in mind that creation, so creating something, is an application of the sun within astrology. So in this way, your sun sign can show you how you create. So let's take another example of a Cancerian and a YouTuber known as Andrea Rossett. Now, she is a content creator who has gained popularity for posting about her regular daily life online with videos like reacting to my old makeup look, reacting to my first ever singing cover, and reacting to being smashed or passed. The second way that a cancer can become famous is for being emotional wrecks. Now before you start thinking that, well, I think that all cancers are whiny little crybabies and they just cry on cue. That's not what I'm saying here. There can be times when cancers just sort of crack, even though they can be highly supportive to their loved ones and they're highly supportive to their co-workers or they can be highly supportive towards their pets or their partner and so on. There can be times when they themselves just break and they don't know <laughs> how to make sense or how or why they even got to that point. And so if we are to look at the sun in Cancer, well, because this is the sun, Cancer sun people, they might gain some sort of popularity for their emotional ranting, for their emotional venting. And I guess for some Cancers, they like to use social media as that way to really let out their emotions as that outlet. And this can make them highly likable people because it creates relatability between them and their viewers or their followers. Other people can then empathize with the Cancer person and be like, girl, I get how you feel, you know, or I've also felt that way before myself. So with that in mind, let's actually take a look at a YouTuber and a Cancerian, well, Tana Monjo. She gained fame and popularity for her story time videos. Some are kind of creepy, some are a bit sad, some are a bit embarrassing and cringy, and some are just darn right awkward. I mean, I got banged with a toothbrush yeah, that's not uncomfortable or anything. So she ultimately used her platform as a way to share her own experiences, but it's done so as if she is venting or ranting to the audience. She's just really getting it all out on social media. So as she's doing this, naturally her videos, they create those reactions from others as well. <laughs> but then you also notice with her thumbnails, that she has these thumbnails of herself crying and being all like, oh my god, you know, that shock factor. And those types of thumbnails are things that really grab the attention of the audience. Oh yeah, cancers just might give Leos a run for their money when it comes to the drama scene. But you know what I also find quite interesting about this? Is that, well, fellow Cancerian and YouTuber Natalia Taylor. Well, I recall watching a video of her sharing her experiences of meeting other YouTubers and she mentioned in that video that Tana would say things like, oh my god, I love you so much. I would jump in front of a car for you. I would die for you. I would slit my own throat. Now, you tell me if that's a rational way to express your emotions. Now of course this is simply one example of a cancer person who maybe uses her emotions in a melodramatic way, also she is younger too, um, maybe she's unaware as to how to handle her emotions, but hey, if that's how she feels, that's it, that's how she feels. Though still, taking a look at Natalia Taylor herself, now, she is a model and is known on YouTube for her story time videos as well. And her facial expressions on her thumbnails, they're also quite shocking. Ultimately, cancers can become famous 
from letting out those raw emotions no matter what the genre. And this leads us on to the third way that a cancer can become famous and that is by being highly supportive people. If you have a cancer person in your life and you really matter to them, you could be a biological family member or you could be a family member that you decide or they decide, okay, this is my friend and you are part of my tribe, you are my family now. Well, they are going to have your back. They are going to support you. They will ultimately just want to protect you and keep you safe. And if you want to rant or vent about your day with them, then they will be on your side. They will listen. Or if you need to seek help in some way to help yourself emotionally, they, would be, they could be holding your hand as you make that call to potentially a therapist or whoever it is. And this I find to be quite interesting because going back to Natalia Taylor, apparently she majored in, in nuclear medicine because she wants to work with cancer patients. And the reason for why I bring this up is because of that caring, supportive side nature to cancerians where they seek to help others, where they seek to help others feel better. So let's take a look at a very famous cancer who remains in the hearts of the public today, of course is no longer with us, and that was Princess Diana. She did so much charity work whenever she was alive, and she supported so many causes. Now, she also did have her moon in the sign of Aquarius, which definitely adds a layer to what I'm saying here, but she supported the likes of health, refugees, homelessness, children, and education, and she even has a hospital in Wales named after her, called Diana Princess of Wales Hospital. And according to a source, no one can fill her shoes in terms of the work she did. But you know what, when it does come to this supportive side of cancer, let's also mention how singer and cancerian Ariana Grande, she organized a benefit concert in response to a bombing that took place after her concert in Manchester in England in 2017 I believe it was. At least 22 people died and 59 were injured but this concert, this benefit concert that she organized, this is the prime example of a cancer who felt deeply empathetic towards this event and so she gave back in the way that she knew how. Though still, I will also like to highlight that well if we look at Shane Dawson again, what I find interesting about him is that he had Eugenia Gune on his channel and of course Eugenia Gune, she struggled for years with an eating disorder, she still is struggling with that and she um, has anorexia but he was of course then supporting her by bringing her on and really wanting to know the story and in this way I just see how that cancer energy is being very empathetic towards her situation and wanting to sort of go personal with her and also bringing that awareness to the audience, to the public through his YouTube channel. The fourth way that a cancer can become famous then is for their receptivity. Now by definition, to be receptive means to be open to new ideas or change. But the thing is, is that receptive can also be associated with picking up on signals and stimuli from the surroundings. And you find this with cancer's people that they can be very sensitive towards the signals and stimuli from the environment. So what I wanna do is I wanna take a look at two famous cancers who have gained much popularity and fame for being open to new ideas and suggestions. So being receptive. So firstly, we've got Nikola Tesla. Now he was a scientist whose inventions include the Tesla coil, the alternating current electricity, so AC electricity, and he also discovered the rotating magnetic field. Now Nikola Tesla was also an engineer, but it was him ultimately who discovered, designed, and developed 
ideas for a number of really important inventions. And the other cancer person to bring to your attention is entrepreneur Elon Musk. And funnily enough, he is known for finding Tesla motors and also SpaceX. He also founded X.com in, in 1999, which then later became PayPal. So from these two examples, you notice how that receptivity is coming through where they were both really open to new ideas and exploring new ideas and implementing those and then creating things, of course creation with the sun, um, creating things then through those new inventions. What I gotta say here, <laughs> just to provide my own opinion, is that I don't really agree with every new venture that Elon Musk has in store. See, he recently revealed that there's going to be brain chips as a way to merge humans and artificial intelligence. But no, I, I gotta say, Elon Musk, this is a huge no for me. Remaining on this point of being receptive, well, you would think that acting and receptivity would go hand in hand pretty well. Plus, you would also think that acting and emotions would go hand in hand pretty well too. So let's take a look at actress and award-winning cancerian Meryl Streep, for example. And she has been nominated for 21 Academy Awards. She has won three of them. She's also been nominated for 31 Golden Globes and she has won eight of them. And apparently, according to a source, she is often described as the best actress of her generation. And the fifth and final way that a cancer can become famous is for their nostalgia and their sentimental personalities. Cancers can kind of do this thing where they reflect on the past. For example, they might sort of go over the good old days, reminisce about the good old days. They might bring up great memories with their friends or their loved ones. They might have little sentimental gifts and objects that they keep from times that they spent with others. They might think back to certain events associated with particular times, you know, so maybe Christmas time is associated with the death of a family member or maybe their birthday is associated with their first trip abroad. Point being that cancers have a tendency of having flashbacks from the past. Let's take for example here then, YouTuber and cancerian Lily Pons. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, probably not. She first came to fame through Vine, but then she branched out and she started creating comedy sketches for YouTube. And apparently in 2016, she co-authored a novel based on her own high school experiences titled Surviving High School. Though, if you do look at her YouTube videos, you notice how some of them are associated with, well, her first time. Videos like, my first party, my first kiss, First time flying. Oh yes, when it comes to the first moments and memories for a cancer, they just might remember them quite well. However, if we are to mix this nostalgic energy in with, well, relationships for cancers, things can become a bit icky and a bit messy, especially for those cancers who have a little bit of trouble letting go and moving on from certain relationships after they have ended? Take cancer singer and actress Selena Gomez, widely known for her relationship with Justin Bieber. Now this has been an eight year roller coaster of emotions between these two water signs, cause see Justin, he's a Pisces. Two extremely famous young stars of their time coming together, resulting in many supporters and admirers, but also obsessive haters. <laughs> now, the thing about these two is that it's just been a complete whirlwind of back and forth and just, they're always in the news, we're always in the press, there's always some dramatic scene, there's always 
comments being made um, and she apparently after Justin Bieber got engaged to a new partner Hayley Baldwin who which they are now married well apparently after getting engaged to this this woman Selena Gomez had a major kind of it just had a major impact on her and it affected her own well-being you know I could go on and on and on about this but the point is is that this is an example of a cancer who's pretty nostalgic when it comes to her relationships but it just so happens that it has made it to pop culture news everywhere though if we do want to mention nostalgic and sentimental musicians well let's finish this up by taking a look at Lana Del Rey now she recently told her fans that she is in fact a cancer see we all thought that she was a Gemini before but apparently not she's a cancer <laughs> and if you take a look at her music and her sound you can sort of notice the cancer vibes within her lyrics so let's look at one of her songs some of her lyrics for example here we've got the song dark paradise personally this is one of my favorite songs by lana del rey it says all my friends tell me i should move on i'm lying in the ocean singing your song loving you forever can't be wrong even though you're not here won't move on does that not correlate very well with what I just said about these cancers and finding it difficult to move on from relationships. Okay then, Cosmic Warriors, so that concludes my video on the five ways that a cancer person can become famous. Now, if you have any thoughts and opinions on today's video, let us know in the comment section down below. But with all that being said then, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And if you would like to see more videos from myself and you have not yet subscribed, then go right ahead and click that subscribe button. And I will be back with another video very, very soon. Bye!